Hey, we're back from the edit. So, the movie, the first half mainly, is real slow. And I felt like it was unnecessarily slow. Because there were some scenes happening within that time that I felt like really weren't essential to the story. So, with that being said, I mean, there are things that we really legitimately laughed about the movie. There's a twist at the end that we laughed that we won't spoil, of course, because this, this is a no spoiler video. We will do a, a spoiler talk video later for, for those that have seen the movie, but for those of you that haven't, we're not spoiling that, don't worry. Harrison Ford gives a great performance in the movie. Ryan Gosling is pretty good in it, too. Even Jared Leto is it too bad? Even he's kind of a pain. He's not really in it as much as we initially thought he was going to. Yeah, be. yeah def- I can't believe I'm we're actually saying it, but yeah, he's okay. I, yes, I, yes, believe it or not, I guess he can be okay sometimes. <laughs> I mean, a lot, of, I know a lot of people don't really care for Jared Leto because, well, he's Jared Leto. <laughs> but, uh, <yeah. laughs> but yeah, he was he was all right. And this movie isn't as good as some of the other sequels. The movie got recently, like I said before, you know, movies like My Max Free Road, Star Wars Episode 7, The Force Awakens, which Harrison Ford was also in, ironically, and The War for the Pay of the Age. But I don't want people to think this is a negative review. It's not, it's far yeah, from by that. By the way, you can tell we're a little biased. Wink, wink. We mentioned, to mention, we just happened to mention some of our favorite movies that within like most recent years. So, yeah, those are like some of our favorites. But, the movie is pretty good overall. It's not one that I don't think I want to see again, necessarily. I don't think I'll be buying the DVD. If you're a fan of the original Blade Runner, you, you'll you probably like it, but you probably won't think it's a good original either, because we, we, we certainly did, and we could probably watch the original one several more times and look at all the now, but the original one is way better. The original one we thought was a great movie, but this one we did exactly think was a great movie. And that's okay. It's pretty darn good though. It really is. Like, pretty darn good. I kind of feel like anyways, this movie's going to get some mixed reception to where there's probably going to be some people that say it's a great movie and that they loved it, but some will probably be, well, I guess, to say that it was pretty good overall. Some people will probably say that it was okay or that it was all right, or at worst, they might say it was me. I don't think too many people are going to say that they thought it was terrible or that it was dire, that they hated it. I mean, there might be some that say that that's bound to happen with, it, with any movie. Or maybe... Most people are going to love it and say that it was bad and we're going to end up being in the minority. And and that's okay. That's perfectly fine. But um, I guess yeah, that... Some people might out there, maybe you saw the new movies trailer and went, yeah! By the way, we'll get to that. You're getting to that, trust me. Yeah, that's going to be our next video. He watched the trailer already. I didn't watch it but the way he described it. did not have my expectations very high but let us know in the comment section I guess why you thought of Baywatch 249 if you've seen it already let us know if you liked it or didn't like it or or how much you liked it or if you're kind of in the same area as us and how you felt about it let us know what movies you're excited about coming up and maybe let us know what some of your favorite sequels are that came out recently and oh, and by, and by the way, uh, we're in our new house now. We've moved into our new house. You may have noticed we're filming in our garage, and we found an old tripod that we set up. So so now uh, we're both on camera. We don't have to juggle the camera back and forth, which is great. There's a lot more space in here. And uh, th- this house belonged to our grandparents. Our grandmother passed away earlier this year. So this house was like a second home to us. So it's not like a totally brand new house. It's a house that we're familiar with. We have a lot of nostalgia oh, for. Our house is a very, very, very fine house. And with two cats in the yard. It's, it's nice to be like in here. It's, be so it's bigger. It, 
that are announced, but it's, it's nice to ruin me. But, but yeah, I thought like we should also mention that before we wrap up, because you probably, you probably noticed that we're in another location. Although, although we did shoot a couple of videos in here before, uh, earlier in the year, because we would come by every so often uh, when we were moving around, and we still don't have our stuff moved over. But from now on, I think we're going to record most of our videos in here so yeah thank you everybody for watching uh you know just let us know what you thought in the comment section and like it it's like whatever and good night everybody